Hello, I'm Margaret Collingwood. And I'm Jeremy Collingwood. And in this programme, we're hoping to explore some of the issues around retirement. Is this the end of the road and we're past our time of usefulness and service? Are we past our sell-by date and just watching others do their bit? Or can this be a new and exciting stage in life's journey? I'm a retired vicar and I've always rather disliked the word retired unless you spell it with a Y. Perhaps it'd be better to say we're retreads. Sometimes I say I'm in pensioned ministry. But you're fortunate enough to be able to carry on preaching and leading services even though you're no longer a vicar of a parish. Yes, that's true, and it's one of the great advantages of uh, my job. But I have to say that it was with a real sense of bereavement that I left my last parish. I missed the people with whom I'd lived and worked. I missed my colleagues and our team meetings. And for a while I felt a bit like a fish out of water. And I can remember it as something of a difficult time too. I missed my colleagues, I missed community, I missed networking and friends of course. And often I felt quite lonely and even invisible. But I've been fortunate too being able to carry on with counselling work and making new friends and new colleagues. But it did take a little bit of time. I think it's amazing what some people do in retirement, how they find new goals, new purposes, a new sense of calling. I like the words of the psalmist who said, they will bring forth fruit in old age. They will ever be full of sap and green. And these are exactly the kind of people we're going to meet now. People who found new and meaningful purpose in their retirement. For our first story, we've come just south of Bristol to Raxall and to one of the many farms that are typical in this part of North Somerset. Moathouse Farm has been here for generations, farming cattle and sheep on its 300 acres. But today, anyone arriving at the farm will be in for quite a surprise. <laughs> 